What's going on guys and welcome to the vlog. Right now it's almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's like 11.58 or something like that. Which means that in a couple minutes it'll be 12 o'clock p.m. or noon. And right now my family and I are getting ready to head to Vallant, Pennsylvania. For those of y'all watching this vlog that don't know where Vallant, Pennsylvania is, Vallant, Pennsylvania is a small town in Lawrence County, Pennsylvania, and it's about an hour from here. And like I said, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going to Vallant, Pennsylvania. We've been there many times before, and I think I even made a vlog or two in Vallant a couple years ago but it's something that we try to do every year around Halloween and in the month of October right now the temperature here is currently 54 degrees I will put the temperature over here somewhere like I always do the high is supposed to go up to 60 today so it's supposed to be not that hot. And the temperature in Vallant is currently one degree cooler. The temperature in Vallant right now is 53 degrees. And the high in Vallant, Pennsylvania is supposed to go up to 59. I will also put that temperature somewhere on screen as well. But right now, I think I'm going to go and grab something quick to eat. And then my family and I are going to head out and head to Vallant for the day. Right now, I'm currently brewing some coffee. And once my coffee's done brewing, I'm going to put some oat milk in it. I'm brewing my coffee in my pumpkin spice and everything nice mug. I had this mug in my cabinet where all my mugs and glasses are and I completely forgot I had it. So I thought, why not use it today? It's still October. It's still pumpkin spice season for another week or so. So I thought, why not use it? Now I'm pouring in some oat milk, and this is really hard to do with one hand. But I managed not to spill any of the oat milk, which is good. Usually I drink my coffee just like that. I brew it black and then add some oat milk. I don't usually put any creamer in my coffee, but... I found this Natural Bliss Zero Sugar Almond and Coconut Milk Cinnamon Cream Flavored Creamer in the refrigerator. And I thought I might use some of it because why not? Like I said, I don't usually put creamer in my coffee. I usually just brew it black and put oat milk in it. But I'm going to put some cinnamon cream creamer in there. And just like the oat milk, this is really hard to do with one hand. But I managed not to spill any of the cinnamon cream, almond, and coconut milk creamer. And there's what I'm having for lunch. Some yogurt and some coffee. And this yogurt, by the way, is dairy-free yogurt. This is dairy-free vanilla Wii made by Yoplait and the milk that's in here is coconut milk and I've had this yogurt once before and it was really good so this is a good yogurt alternative to anyone that's either lactose intolerant or allergic to dairy milk this 
dairy free vanilla Wii made by Yoplait. Like I said, it has coconut milk and it's a really good non dairy alternative to yogurt. But like I said, there's what I'm having for lunch the coffee that I just made, and some yogurt. Well, we made it. We're here in Vallant, Pennsylvania, and I'm sorry if y'all hear any traffic noise in the background. There's a road right here next to where I'm filming. I'll try and limit the traffic noise as much as possible, but there's really nothing I can do about that. So I'm sorry if y'all hear any traffic noise in the background. Right over there is a cidery and winery. My family and I will probably go there later. But right now, I think I'm going to go and head into this building right here that says Vallant Mills on it. Let's go and see what they have in there. They always have some cool stuff in here. Sounds like they got some Irish music playing. Let's go and see what's upstairs. And they got lots of stuff up here, too. All kinds of, like, little teacups and chinaware. They got some old glass bottles over there. That glass bottle right there on the windowsill in front of me is an old glass milk bottle. They don't serve milk in those anymore. My mom has a bunch of these at home. These oil lamps, they're all packed away somewhere. But like I said, my mom has a bunch of these. And apparently there's a third floor to this little shop we're in. I don't remember there being a third floor. And if there was always a third floor in this shop that we're in in Vallant, I don't think I've ever been up on the third floor. Well, looks like up here on the third floor of this shop in Vallant, they have a bunch of Christmas stuff. They got a whole bunch of fake Christmas trees. Christmas decorations. Some wreaths, garland. A really creepy elf decoration dressed as Santa Claus. That's kind of creepy. So like I said, I guess they have a bunch of Christmas decorations up here. That's the kind of sign I need in my house. Rise and shine, it's coffee time. Well, I think we're heading there next. The Cidery and Winery. Go in there and maybe end up buying some cider. Well. I guess we better figure out something else to do because this place right here, the Knockin' Noggin Cidery and Winery is closed for some reason. Boo! I was really looking forward to going in there and trying some cider, but they're closed. So I guess we're gonna have to figure out something else to do. Well, there is another winery 
all the way at the top of this road all the way up there somewhere So maybe we'll stop in there and take a look around. Now we're just walking around and trying to figure out some place to go and something to do. Okay, what the hell is going on with Volant? This building right here in front of me used to be the other winery, but it's not there anymore. So the other winery is not there. The Knock and Noggin Cidery and Winery is closed. What in the world is going on? It's like everything in Vallant is closed today. What is this? National Vallant, Pennsylvania, everything's closed day? What in the world? Well, I guess we're going to walk around and see if anything's open. Because if not, I don't really see the point of walking around because there's nothing really to do if everything's going to be closed today. Ooh, that Leesburg cider tea sounds good. Rum, vodka, gin, apple castle, apple cider, and cranberry juice. I might get that. Just like I said, that sounds really good. Now it's time to decide what I want. There's a million and one options on this menu. I got crab cakes. I might get those. Well, I ended up getting the Leesburg cider tea. And I also went with the crab cakes as well. Oh, yeah, these are really good. This Leesburg cider tea is yeah. really good. Oh, they. It says on that. Pumpkin pie martini? Yeah. Ugh. This might be just my opinion, but that does not sound appetizing at all. Oh, good. Good. Would you say, Dad, you bet it's good? Yeah. Well. To me, that does not sound appetizing. Pinnacle vanilla vodka, rum chata, pumpkin puree, cream, and a graham cracker rim. <laughs> like I said, that pumpkin pie martini does not sound good to me. Well, we got the tombstone lit. And y'all probably can't see it because it's a little too dark to see it right now. But that tombstone says trick or treat on it. And that tombstone is just a cheap $10 styrofoam tombstone that I bought at Target. I would much rather make my own being the crafty person I am doing the mannequins and turning them into ghouls for Halloween and Santa Claus for Christmas and stuff like that. Like I said, I would much rather make my own tombstone, but that one right there is better than nothing. Like I said, that's just a cheap $10 styrofoam tombstone from Target and it's one of those battery operated tombstones where 
it'll stay on for six hours and then it's supposed to go off for 18 hours. I don't think it looks that bad. Like I said, it's better than nothing. We also have some ghosts in the trees. Over here we have this little sign that says boo with some ghosts coming out of it. Back there on either side of that bush are some little plastic jack-o'-lanterns that light up. In that planter right there is a little ghost decoration that says boo on it. And over on that side, I know it's kind of hard to see because it's dark out right now, but that is a little black cat decoration that's sticking out of that planter. There's a pumpkin decoration sticking out of that planter over there. And then in that planter way over there, there's another little ghost decoration that just like that one in this planter, That ghost over there in that planter also says boo on it. And those two ghost decorations, the one over there and also the one in that planter are just on a little wooden dowel. That's how they're sticking in the planters. And there's currently a plane going overhead right now. Right now it's a little after 7 o'clock at night. I think it's like 7.40 or something like that. Which means that in about 20 minutes it'll be 8 o'clock. And the movie that my family and I are watching tonight for our scary movie is The Witches. And for those of y'all wondering, no, we're not watching the 2020 remake starring Anne Hathaway, but instead we're watching the 1990 original where the Grand High Witch is played by Angelica Houston. And for those of y'all that have seen the movie or read the book by Roald Dahl, the mice in the original 1990 film starring Angelica Houston are done with practical puppet effects as opposed to CGI in the 2020 remake. But like I said, the 1990 original is the film version of The Witches that my family and I are watching. And in my opinion, that's the better of the two. I watched both of them and I thought the 2020 remake was kind of weird and not really necessary, but in the 1990 original film adaptation of the Roald Dahl book, the practical makeup effects still hold up to this day, 30 plus years later. And little fun fact, when I first saw Angelica Houston in full makeup in the 1990 version of the witches. I honestly thought it was a full body puppet. When I first found out that that was all makeup and Angelica Houston was in the makeup chair for hours to apply all that, I was shocked. Like I said, I thought that was a full body puppet that's how good the makeup effects were. And like I said, they still hold up to this day 30 plus years later. And that's the movie we're watching tonight for our scary movie marathon. We're going to start the movie at around 8 o'clock, which like I said is in another 20 minutes or so because it's about 7.40 as I'm recording this clip. Here we, from Jim Henson. <laughs> here we go. 
the witches. That's gonna do it for the vlog today. Right now it's almost 10 o'clock at night. I think it's like 9.54 or something like that. My family and I just got finished watching The Witches not too long ago. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. As always, I'll put my Instagram somewhere on screen, like I do in almost all my vlogs. I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Until next time, I'm Miko Riviera. Stay positive, dream big, and I'll see you in the next video.